In today's review, we're going to take a look at one of these uh, moving motion slideshow kind of picture frame apparatus. This one is, um, let's see, it does photos, music, video, compatible file formats, USB connection, the photocopy. I don't know what to think about that. Uh, time and date and uh, clock. <laughs> clock and clock. <laughs> I'm glad we glad we established that it does time. So um, yeah, there's that on the box, and there's uh, that on the box. Got no idea what color it is because no check marks. Back of the box doesn't really show or tell anything special there. I don't know. Oh, I see what they're doing. <laughs> All right, I guess whatever. Anywho, that's uh, that's what you get on the outside. Not a lot. Let's see what we get on the inside. Oh, we get a remote. Okay, that's nice. Some uh, instructions. I like this bubble wrap. This is some good stuff right here. Um, laptops when they're shipped like that, you know, it's just great stuff. You'd really have to try hard to uh, do some damage to the product when it's wrapped and stuff like that. So good job on the packaging, really. Seriously, good stuff right there. This, oh, I guess that's a stand. Okay. So you got a stand and a battery charger. Oh, something's magnetic. <laughs> My razor blade's sticking. I don't know. Yeah, wow. My razor blade sticks. There's a magnet. Something's magnetic up in here, so... Alright. <laughs> I don't know if it's supposed to be, but it clearly is, so there's that. Um, the stand looks pretty straightforward. Hello. Eh, simple enough. Eh, it'd be nice if it was adjustable, but... Uh, I mean, it's, it's, it's on an angle. You can, I mean, I guess you can always prop it up on something. You know, put, give her, I don't know, some stack of papers or something if you wanted it to lean back a little further, but it's on an angle. I mean, like I said, it just would be nice to have that, have that some, some way, some sort of uh, adjustable, but uh, looks like it has a visa mount. Is that what that is? That is, that is what that is, isn't it? It's a uh, visa Looks like Visa anyway. Or whatever, it's monitor mountable. So, all right, that's interesting. Looks like it has one of those Kinston locks. Hmm, interesting. Eh, where's the better way of showing and telling this? Like that, or... Huh, yeah, well, you get the idea. There's uh, power. Uh, USB, two USBs, uh, looks like uh, headphones according to the little icon down there. It's a headphone. And then you get your memory card reader, right va, which uh, I'm going to use a uh, micro SD card because I have adapters for those things and I got a bunch of them laying around. Um, I don't have... I mean, most of my, my, my regular SD cards I'm using for, you know, important things like my camera here. <laughs> but anyway, those adapters work just fine. We're not talking about any kind of high bitrate stuff. Um, so I'm sure it'll be fine, fine, quite fine. All of my SD cards, or my micro SD cards, are of a higher bitrate anyway. So we will be able to test the capabilities of this thing. All right, that's the uh, boxing and, well, that's the unboxing. Let's, uh, let me put some power into this thing and then, you know, tune back in when I can uh, show and tell a little more when I know a little more myself so tune back in then what do you think about that glare that's showing up real nice on camera <laughs> yeah I got some lights in here but uh, hey I've spent some time with this and yeah I think uh, I think it's time to do a little show and tell Overall, all in all, um, I'm I'm pretty pretty pleased, uh, pretty happy with it. I don't have, yeah. I mean, 
hardly anything to complain about. But uh, hey, we're going to get into that, all right? Let's uh, first take a look at the uh, remote control, huh? And uh, it works. You know, it does. It. I mean, the buttons are self-explanatory. Uh, that's one thing that uh, I think is pretty neat. It. I mean, if you've used any kind of, uh, well, remote control device, you can figure this out. You know, there's, I didn't have to go to the manual for anything. I did go to the manual just because I wanted to make sure that, you know, I wasn't missing anything. And, um, yeah, why don't I just start with that, huh? <laughs> all right, uh, pet peeve number one. Yes, I'm old, yes, I'm going blind and all that jazz, but this is retarded. I mean, there's just, uh, you know, there, there's no need for that. Look, use use a little paper, right? Use some bigger font, some bigger print. Um, you know, it's beneficial to everyone involved. You could, if, if if the print was just larger, you could just fold the paper smaller. You know what I mean? It's it, ah, it's not. This is retarded. I can't freaking see it, and uh, I, I bet you most of you guys can't see it either. But uh, here with a magnifying glass, once you start reading a little, you can see some of these specifications, and. Um, one thing I want to point out here, it says the audio format, MP3, Windows Media Audio, and WAVE are, well, they're the only uh, supported formats. They're the only formats listed. I'm here to tell you that's not all that it does. Um, I have, I'm not going to play it for you because, you know, it would be, I'd get a copyright strike. But I have uh, all my CDs and I got freaking hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of them. I rip them all to my computer and I do it with uh, in the FLAC format. I do it losslessly. MP3 is an evil term. We don't use it in this household. Shh. No, 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 no. <laughs> ain't, ain't none of that crap going on here. We use, you know, real lossless FLAC files. Everything gets converted to that if it's audio. And uh, yes, plays them beautifully. I uh, didn't struggle, didn't hesitate, didn't, you know, not a, not a nothing. It just played them. Uh, now, it is not the greatest sounding speaker that you've ever heard, but, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it, it, it sounds off. It, you know, if you're watching a video or something like that, you can certainly hear what's going on. If you're listening to music for enjoyment, yeah, you're going to want to hear something a little different than this, I'm thinking, but, hey, it makes some noise, and it does what it says on the tin, and that's, uh, you know, that's all good and fine and dandy right there. Um... Also, real quick, before I power this thing up, just thought we'd uh, run over my memory card situation. Yeah. Are we going to focus? Come on, Panasonic. There we go. Good boy. Um, you know, I'm just adapting a, a uh, you know, micro uh, card to a, a regular SD card. So, um, you know, that's, uh, that's, that's my setup. That's how I'm doing. And... It works just fine. It works, uh, you know, perfectly well if you plug it into the computer, which uh, I have a clip of that. I'll insert it. Uh, yeah, why don't I just do that right here and then we'll move on with the rest of the review. Take a look at that clip and then we'll uh, power this thing up. Something that I've been quite curious about is what happens if you plug this into a computer? Uh, what's the... Uh, What's it look like to a computer? It has two USB ports, so I figured what I'm going to do here, real quick now, whilst I'm going to plug it in with one and uh, turn the device on. Something like that. And see what Windows thinks about it. Something, nothing, that's different, okay. Of course the cord is right, right in my mouse, over my mouse. Let's see what we see here. Removable disc E. And USB drive F. Yeah, this is the one. Okay, there it is. That's, uh, I created these folders. Um, I named them, you know, clearly, I mean, music, pictures, and video because, well, yeah, for organization purposes. So, 
All right, that's what it does. I didn't know how that was going to work, but uh, hey, good stuff, good stuff. So it works like, you know, any other, um, you know, USB drive. Let's put it that way. That answers my question. Alrighty, now uh, I'm, we're all gonna, you know, see it live for the first time here. Hopefully uh, we can beat this glare. I think we're all right like that. Um, just plug it in, it should wake up automatically. And it does. And uh, wait for just a second. I got uh, stuff on the card and there you go. This is how I set it up. You, you have options. I mean, you, you've got pretty much every option I could think of that you, well, that anybody would really want. You can tell it where to start. It can start with a video. It can start with music. It can start with a calendar and pictures, which clearly is my setting. Um, you, can, you can set it to uh, turn on and turn off at, at certain dates and times. Uh, I have it currently set to uh, Monday through Friday kind of a schedule. It'll wake up at 8 o'clock in the morning. In other words, it'll turn itself on at 8 o'clock in the morning and then turn itself off at 6 o'clock p.m. in the evening. And it'll do that Monday through Friday. I mean, good stuff. I like it. I like it like that. Uh, but uh, you know what? I, I, I uh, Rather than zooming in in post, I think what I'm going to do real quick I'm going to swap lenses. I'm going to put my zoom lens on this camera and I will zoom in that way. I want I want you to see this screen as close as I can get you while still being in focus. So you see it's just, you know, I'm being as fair and as honest and, and you're getting a real sense of what this thing is and what it looks like. Uh, also, I'm recording on a Panasonic G9 at 10 bits, uh, 422 chroma subsampling at 150 uh, megabits per second in 4k so I my camera's maxed out for what it can record in, in terms of quality I'm just gonna put a different lens on there we're gonna zoom into this guy and then I'm gonna run you through I'm gonna describe it to you because you won't be able to see you're just gonna see that screen I'm gonna tell you what buttons I'm pushing on the remote and you get to see exactly what it does and exactly how it works so uh, yeah let me swap lenses here and we'll get into that Okay, I think uh, I think we're ready to rock and roll. Got you zoomed in pretty well. Hopefully everything is in focus and stays in focus. And yeah, this is a real true um, what you see is what you get representation of, well, what you see is what you get. Uh, I think the quality is nice. My pictures are not perhaps the greatest quality. These are not edited. They are <laughs> I got so many pictures. I just grabbed a folder, dumped it on the memory card, and uh, yeah, it started to go. Uh, these are these are unedited. They're out of a, a decent camera, but they're not out of this camera. Not not this one here. Uh, these are old pictures. Anywho, what I'm going to do, I think, first of all, let us uh, push the movie button. Yeah, I'm going to push the movie button. I have three different files on here. Did I push it? I don't think I pushed it. I have three different files on this uh, uh, memory card. What the hell was that? Hello. No, no, no. I'm going to push the movie button again. I don't make this up, folks. I'm not going to edit this out either. Um, you see what I see. What you doing? <laughs> what in the world is going on here? All right, let me try music. There's music. Hmm. Huh. I had, like I was, well, I was trying to say, I was getting to anyway before the thing started uh, doing what you saw it do. I have uh, three different uh, movie files on, on this uh, memory card. And uh, let me turn the volume down here real quick. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> anyway, three different movies on here. Uh, I have a 720p, a 1080p, and a uh, 4K. It 
might be the 4K that this thing is struggling and can't can't figure out what to do with it. They're all MP4s, so yeah, I don't know. It's supposed to be fine with MP4s, but uh, anywho, there's music. I'll, I'll uh, turn it up so you can feel that bass, feel that bass. <laughs> Oh yeah. Yeah, that sounds just about like crap. But uh, like I said, it makes noise. Uh, there's a couple different ways you can turn the volume down. And what I'm what I'm discovering is if you use the arrow keys, I, I was pushing you know the, the back button here. Uh, if you use the arrow keys, that uh, uh, kind of helps to, uh, I don't know, it helps. <laughs> the volume key, I mean, sometimes it's not working. I mean, I can stand on it and, uh, yeah, okay, maybe maybe proximity is the thing. I mean, I don't know. Hey, this is all real stuff, real time, so you see what I see. But, uh, yeah, see, I'm, I'm on the button, I'm holding that button, and uh, nothing. Hello. Yeah, just nothing doing. So, uh, it is what it is. But I, I, I start pushing that one, and it responds. You know, almost instantly. I don't know. <laughs> it is what it is. But uh, there's buttons on the back. You know that. You know, I've never had a problem with the, the the buttons on the actual device itself towards the rear of the display. So. Uh, these are wave files. I, I hope they, hopefully you can read in the title there. These are all wave files, and like I said, it does also play FLAC files. So win-win, I guess there. All right, now I'm just going to push the photo button and see what happens here. Wait for it, and it goes right into photo mode. That's what I would expect. I have it set, uh, and you can adjust the time frame here, of course. Uh, clearly, we got a aspect ratio problem on that one, but uh, you can adjust the uh, time frame. You know, five seconds, ten seconds, fifteen seconds. Uh, I think up to fifteen minutes, I believe. Yeah, I think it was up to fifteen minutes. So, I mean, you you've got a lot of adjustability here in how much, well, time between pictures, time between you know it changes pictures. Um, that's good. That's great. I'm going to try this uh, movie button one more time just to see what happens here. Because clearly, I mean, these are all kitty pictures, right? And I, I, that's all that I threw on there. Um, unedited, but, you know, the, 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 the video that you're watching, I'm not going to do any color correction. It's just going to be right out of camera. You know, I'll, I'll make my cuts where I got to, you know, where I ramble or something like that. I'll cut it and <laughs> splice it together. But there will be no color correction in any of this. So what my camera sees is what I'm seeing and what you're seeing. All real time and um, yeah I mean the quality of the display is quite nice but uh, I'm gonna like I said I'm gonna hit this uh, movie button one more time and let's see what it does wait for it yeah, hello Yeah, I don't know. It, it reboots. That's um, that's weird. Let me. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, let me get back to that. <laughs> oh, uh, one. Yeah, before I do that, I guess uh, real quick. If you push this button here at the very top in the middle, are we focusing? Yeah, something like that. That one right there in front of my finger. If you push that, it'll play music and pictures simultaneously um you've heard you've heard what the thing sounds like so i don't know if you'd really want that going on but oh it's something right <laughs> hang on just a second let me figure out what's going on with the video thing and then i'll, I'll show you some video because it does play video um but i'm thinking that it does not like my 4k video that's on there so i might have to get rid of that for it to actually work I am struggling to understand why this thing seems to be constantly rebooting. All I did was push exit and I just want to get to this main screen here. Um, 
yeah, I don't, uh, I don't know. It's a little, little, uh, <laughs> finicky, touchy, fussy. Anyway, let's go to video so I can just show you what I'm talking about here. These are the three files I got. I mean, clearly, um, we're going to go, we're going to skip the 4K one. Hello. Hello. Can I scroll down? <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> what is your malfunction? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm, I'm, one more time, I guess. Um, exit. Just the exit button here. Now, uh, yeah, SD card. <laughs> and video, yeah. And oh, now, now it worked. Well, the up button worked. Here's some 720p. Let's, uh, let's see what it does. This is a review that I did. Uh, well, I mean, if you want to see what, uh, LED headlights, you know, comparison wise to uh, the old incandescents. Here's I, I upgraded the LED, uh, or I upgraded two LED headlights in my Ford pickup truck. So, all right, that works. Uh, enter is pause and exit is, well, like it says on the button. <laughs> Let me try Christmas snow. This is a 1080p file. And presto, Bob's your uncle. <laughs> okay, so 1080p is fine. Uh, I'm going to do it one more time. Uh, enter is pause. I'm just going to pause it and then exit. Oh, yeah, I want to move my thumb. Then exit. And up button. We're going to try it one more time. Enter, go. And I'm expecting this is the one that was causing the problem. Yellow. Yeah, no bueno. <laughs> okay, so 4K video is out of the question. Um, you know, well, that's not the end of my world. I didn't expect it to play 4K video, but uh, it would have been nice if it if it if it could downscale or something like that. But no, it doesn't. Uh, it it don't do that. So, um, all right, well, that's no problem. How about I just run you through uh, some of the uh, other basic uh, features and functions here. here. Here's your basic menu. Uh, pretty, you know, pretty decent. Yeah, you got adjustability in here for all kinds of, you know, bells and whistles and uh, alarm clocks and start and stop times and things of that nature. And, I mean, for the money, it's... Um, that's all right. I, I, I'm starting to have, I didn't have any tr any of these troubles with the remote yesterday when I was playing around with this. Of course, now that I'm doing it live, you know, <laughs> now the thing wants to act up. I mean, is it me? Am I, am I not making good contact with the buttons? I don't think so, because I've done the same thing repeatedly, and it's still been hit or miss. But anyway, the, the, it works fine every time I push a button on the back. It's just, uh, well... You're seeing what I'm seeing, and I'm not making any excuses. We're all we're all living the same event here in uh, real time, so you get an idea of you know what uh, what you can do with the thing. Uh, backlighting, I've got it maxed out, so this is as bright as she goes. It don't go no mo, but uh, you got options. Just run you down through these real quick, and that's a uh, that's about uh, all she wrote there. So, <laughs> all right. Um, Go back to uh, my normal thing here. This is this is going to be on my wife's desk. Uh, she's working from home. I want to get this review done, and then I'll give this thing to her, and she can enjoy it forever more. But uh, this is pretty much going to be the general setting, I, I, I think. I mean, she's going to choose whatever she wants, but uh, you see what it does. You see what it looks like, and I think it looks good, and, and when it works, it works fine. Um, I may be, you know, not making perfect contact with the buttons here, but I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think it's me. I think it's just uh, the, the, the device is camera shy. <laughs> I think that's what the problem is. 
Anyway, when it works, it looks good. No, it doesn't sound good. That's, uh, you know, but that was a given. Oh, and in, in the very beginning when the my razor blade stuck, duh. It took me a minute to realize why it stuck. Speakers, magnets, yes. <laughs> that's why it's stuck. And clearly that's where the speaker is, was, is, was. So, um, I think, I mean, I think you've seen basically what you need to see here. Uh, those are... Well, those are the pieces of of what this thing does. Uh, it's pretty cool. I like it. And it's not very expensive. I think this was, I don't know, somewhere in the $80 range. I've got another one that I'm, I'm working on review as well. Um, as, long as, uh, as long as I can get to it uh, in a reasonable time. And two, I'm working on this watch here. If you want to see a review on a smart watch, um, got, I've got the rest of the week to, you know, test this thing out. But... Uh, you know, <laughs> I got a whole bunch of reviews in the works. Anywho, uh, let me uh, let me go back to my other lens. We'll turn the lights back on so um, we can all see. And I'll uh, I'll wrap this thing up real real short and sweet. Hang on. All right. So just to wrap this up here, um, I mean it's uh, it's fine. It was it was an eighty one dollar uh, picture frame. Uh, it, it's got a lot of bells and whistles, um, all of which do work. It does work. Everything worked. It's just uh, I don't know. It's maybe, maybe I'm expecting it to be faster. It, it, it probably I'm sure it has you know hardly any processing power. I might have been a little too quick sometimes, but uh, I mean everything does work. It does it does everything that it said it was going to do on the tin, and I think honestly it looks really good. It's uh, it's an IPS panel. Uh, it's got a 180 degree viewing angle. I guess we can take a look at that. Of course, you're gonna see my, my, my uh, not studio, my living room lighting. And uh, I mean, that's a hell of an angle right there. <laughs> and you can still see it. I mean, come on, that's damn near sideways. <laughs> it's good, right? I mean, it's that's good, that's great. So, uh, I mean, like I said, everything it said it was going to do, it does. Now, for uh, display size, it's uh, uh, 1280 by 800. And, well, it clearly it's not rated to do 4K. And, well, I tried to do 4K, and no, it won't do it. But, uh, you know, it does, it does 1080p. It's not rated to do 1080 either. And it does it. It's not rated to do FLAC files, and it does it. it, it you know what I mean? It's... Um, all in all, I mean, this is pretty much how you're going to use it as a um, a moving picture display, a calendar of so, of such. Um, yeah, for doing what it does, I mean, it's fine. I, I'm happy with it. I like it. I like it like that. So, you know, it's I, some of these things get stupid expensive, and the one that I'm going to review after this is it's more expensive. But uh, you. you, you <laughs> You gotta pick your poisons, folks. Um, how much money do you want to spend? You know, it's, it's like that old saying in the automotive racing industry: speed costs money. How fast do you want to go? So, uh, <laughs> yes, it's just like that. Uh, I like it. I really don't have anything much to complain about. I, I wish the remote was, yeah, a little better. Uh, I'm not thrilled with it, but it works. You know what I mean? It works. So. Um, yeah, I think we're going to wrap it up right there. I like it. Hopefully you guys enjoy this. Hopefully you learn something. I mean, for 80 bucks, I mean, they're, they're all, you know, getting into that $100 range. So, you know, good luck finding anything better for less. But, uh, you know, you, you see what I saw and <laughs> hopefully, hopefully it helps you make a well-informed purchasing decision. I mean, that's, that's what the whole point and purpose of this channel is about, you know, should you spend your money here or should you, you know, focus somewhere else? Um, and nobody pays for my reviews, so you're, you're getting my honest opinion always. So, all right, guys, thanks for hanging out. I hope this was helpful. And, uh, hey, we're going to see you in the next one, all right? Cheers.